Paris, France. July 2013. Scientists announced the discovery of an entirely new class of extremely large microbes called Pandora viruses. Up to 94% of the Pandora virus genome has nothing in common with any other life form on Earth. These very large viruses, the Pandora viruses, they have a very high frequency of genes that basically don't correspond to any other genes in, in other organisms that we know of. While seemingly alien, Pandora viruses do share one thing in common with all life on Earth, DNA. Those who endorse panspermia say that this supports a key part of their hypothesis, namely, that all life in the universe is based on DNA, and therefore that life on Earth is closely related to life everywhere. If DNA is present throughout space, and we are a product of that DNA, and that other species elsewhere in the galaxy are also the result of the same DNA, then very clearly there's some kind of symbiotic relationship between all of us. If all life in the universe is based on DNA, then aliens would be closely related to humans. Is this why so many abductees report that their alien abductors are so interested in human genetic material? Many abductees have talked about how they were taken on board UFOs and subjected to medical experimentation. Witnesses talk about blood, sperm, eggs being removed from their bodies. It's very possible that an alien intelligence is tinkering with our DNA to try to make us more compatible to them. And that perhaps one day, the two species will unite. And they will no longer be our gods, but we will be their equals. If aliens are using these microbes to make us more like them, then obviously we're going to start to show signs of that sort of genetic, physical evolution. In other words, our testosterone levels should go down. We're going to become more frail, probably going to become more androgynous. Our intelligence is going to be spiked. Some point out that these changes are happening already. There are trends in the evolution of human beings right now. Sperm counts are going down. Sperm counts are going down, by the way, as the world's population is crashing through 8 billion to 10 billion. Maybe we become more like the aliens, and perhaps that means that we're actually more compatible with them genetically if that path is the one that's laid out. So you could actually look at the development of higher intelligence as, again, kind of a genetic Trojan horse that eventually leads us to a point where it's far easier for us to be crossed genetically with alien species.